this is the best puzzle feeder we've tested and in this video I'm going to tell you why. Have you ever thought about buying a puzzle feeder and wondered which offers the best combination of entertainment for your cats as well as value for money for your wallet? We found that it's difficult to compare or select ones from a thousand online. So to cut through the noise, we've scored this toy against six criteria. Style, engagement, quality, safety, attraction and cleanliness. But I'm going to go a step further. We've been reviewing all of our cat toys, giving them a rating, scoring them and comparing them for inclusion on our toy score chart. This provides you with the information to find durable, safe toys whilst also saving money and creating the best playtime for your cats. At the end of this video, we'll go through that chart. But first, let me show you one of our cats. Her name is Cookie. She is the epitome of a lazy cat. And at 13, despite never really actively engaging with other puzzle feeders, she chose to surprise us and got involved with this one. I guess you can teach an old cat new tricks after all. To cover everything on this toy, I'll split my thoughts into five easy sections. Let's get into it. Imagine you were looking for the perfect cat toy. It would need to be a 10 out of 10 for things like safety and entertainment, right? But what about style? We found that even the most mundane of toys have turned into favorites. A favorite toy for Bear was eyelash combs. Now they're no more than a couple of inches long and yet she would play with them almost non-stop. Equally, in our last video, one of our subscribers said their cats love table tennis balls. I'm not sold that every toy has to follow this stick out at all cost design trend we're seeing. I think Cat It's newer products seem to be heading in that direction, but look, I'm not a closet brand ambassador, nor have I accidentally chugged the Cat It Kool-Aid. This feeder certainly doesn't get a 10 for style, far from it in fact but it's also not the worst toy we've seen. I have to admit, it's odd they decided to use five different colors in their design, and while they made it look like a beehive is beyond me, but at least those colors are pastels, I guess. Aside from the awful gray rubber mat that never seems to flatten out, we found that the feeder blends into the background of our house more than other similar puzzle toys, like the tower feeder or challenge slider. That being said, if you're like us and regularly post pictures and videos of your cats online, your cat's retrieving the kibble from the puzzle feeder is a proud mum and dad moment, perfect for sharing on socials. But style is not everything when it comes to choosing a toy. I'll go as far as saying that as a cat parent, you likely rank safety higher and I'm sure quality is also up there. For us, we've been in situations where we've thrown away toys that were gifted to us just because they didn't meet our safety standards. I'm sure you've been in similar situations, right? Thankfully, with this toy, aside from the cats knocking it over whilst their arms are still inside, which seems extremely unlikely, we've not had any safety concerns. Now, regarding quality, this does feel a bit hit or miss. The Cat It Sense food maze is entirely made from plastic, aside from this rubber mat at the bottom, but it's not a cheap type of plastic, it's actually fairly solid. The rubber, on the other hand, is annoying and it's finicky to fit. It's there to both stabilize the food compartment as kibble falls out, ideally stopping them from landing on your floor, but honestly, it does neither of that. The biggest drawback is just how unstable this toy seems to be. I mean, in other cat it toys, they've added a way to base to reduce the chance of cats knocking it over. However, they didn't really do that here and I'm a little bit surprised. Another part to keep an eye on are these plastic clips and fittings where the toy fits together. I have a feeling that these could fatigue or break over time or with repeated rough use. If we see anything though, I'll return to this video and pin a comment to let you know. There are some upsides to plastic though. Do you own any toys that are either a nightmare or be entirely destroyed if cleaned? I'm looking forward to covering them in a future video, but these Yao bananas are a great example. After a strong buck and a flick session, over time these end up with these weird green patches and become extremely dirty. You can't really clean them without ruining the toy, although I have resorted to hoovering them, which our cats have found extremely entertaining. Now the feeder is easy to assemble and disassemble, and although the rubber gathers and traps dirt, it's pretty easy to wipe down. It's not like one of those 90s cleaning ads though, where you can wipe it once and it's done, but it's also not a chore, so you can give it back to your cats to continue to enjoy whilst you go about your day. The white bowl at the bottom, does an okay job of catching the falling kibble. However, it's not perfect and we've seen the kibble will regularly fall outside of the feeder and onto the floor. Our cats tend to hoover these up pretty quickly, but if you've got other pets or small children, this might not be ideal. Now, 
Where this toy really comes into its own is how it combines the ability to attract and engage our cats. As I mentioned at the top of this video, Cookie has never ever played with any sort of treat toy. Now she made a sign over the deed to our house a long time ago and has fully embraced the life of a queen whose two human servants attend her every whim whilst also teaching her brothers, Oreo and Wolf, to get Kibble out of the puzzle feeders for her. Yet with this toy, amazingly, she's taking it upon herself to join the boys in extracting the Kibble herself. Honestly, it's shocking. Now, this toy works in a similar way to the game Kaplunk. At the top, you add kibble. We found that you could add around 100 grams before it started to fall out. But rather than pulling out sticks to make the kibble fall down, your cats can reach in and either knock the kibble down or just pull them straight out. Inside the feeder is an option to increase or decrease the rate at which treats fall down, but it's a pretty basic difficulty adjustment. It would have been really cool to have adjustments on the side or other ways to make it more complex. As we found over time, our cats have become extremely good at emptying it. There are easier puzzle feeders, but I think this offers a good blend of difficulty so our cats have to work for their food, ensuring they eat slower for better digestion. For us, we've found that it's a great complementary tool to feed our cats rather than a substitute, and it especially helps to keep our indoor cats from being bored. Right, let's do a rapid fire likes and dislikes before we look at the scoreboard. After that, I'll give you a final recommendation on whether to buy the toy or not. Three things that we love about this toy. One, surprisingly, the toy makes for quite a good small toy holder. Our cats were confused at the start, but enjoyed the twist of grabbing out their favorite toys. Two, the toy is extremely simple. There's no moving parts or batteries, which should reduce maintenance and potential breakages in the future. Three, the puzzle feeder is part of the cat it senses range, which sees other similar toys join together to create one super toy. Okay, on to three things we don't like about the toy. One, cat it has created a newer version. The reviews suggest that some of the issues we found in the first gen have been solved, or at least partly addressed. If Catit are aware of these issues, it seems a bit odd they've chosen to continue selling the original version though. Two, when the box arrived, it didn't have the current Catit logo. Instead, it was the old one, which made me question whether we were scammed on Amazon. Could you imagine Apple or Google sending out a phone with the entirely wrong logo? Honestly, it's kind of weird. Three, the product images on Amazon show the new design on the old product listing, which is both confusing and mis-selling as it mentions features that are actually not available on the old option. All right, time for scoring. Style, it's okay, but needs simplifying. Six out of 10. Engagement, once attracted, this keeps our cats engaged as long as there's food, but its simplicity could become a drawback. Nine out of 10. Quality, the rubber mat and the lack of stability is poor, although the plastics are solid. 6 out of 10. Safety. Good, but the lack of stability leaves me wondering about my cat's arms being caught, so it gets an 8 out of 10. Attraction. As long as there's kibble, our cats are attracted. Without it though, they're not interested, so it gets an 8 out of 10. Cleanliness. It's okay to clean, but requires disassembling, and the rubber mat both attracts and traps dirt, so it gets a 6 out of 10. This gives the cat at food maze a score of 43 out of 60, positioning it at the top of our chart and above other puzzle feeders. So, if you've not bought this toy before, should you buy it, save it for later, or simply ignore it? Well, for £17, if you don't have a puzzle feeder, or if you have problems getting your cats engaged with other ones, I'd recommend buying this. Some people will be able to get a hold of the newer version. We'll try and get a hold of that and see how it compares to this one to see whether the issues have really been resolved. If you're interested, subscribe to not miss out on that one. But what if your cat is like brain from Pinky in the Brain? You know, like super smart or so cunning that you know they will find a way around this toy. Well, I might have a solution for that. Have you ever heard of Nina Otterson? They make a range of different interactive dog puzzle toys at varying ranges of difficulty. But look, let me tell you a secret. These advanced dog toys can be completed by cats as well and makes great videos to show your friends online. So if you think your cat could do with a more challenging toy, check out this video we created here. Click one of the links in the video description if you want to find out more about the toys mentioned. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you soon.